John Roman here with the Sales Training Academy. If we have not met before, I work the real 007, Mr. Roger Moore. Did you know that your confidence as a salesperson is one of the top five reasons someone makes a buying decision? That's what we're going to unpack today. So this is one of a series of videos that I have done, and I ho hope you check out the other ones if you have not. And please do me a favor. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Hit that little red button whatever color it is the day you do this hit subscribe and you'll get emails and notifications when i am on and when i've done video so please hit this subscribe button if you're watching this on facebook do the notifications button if you're watching on instagram hit that notifications button just find out when i'm doing this because that way you can actually ask me questions live so there are five reasons the top five reasons that someone actually makes a buying decision these are not in any particular order. First being service, second being price, third being quality, fourth being confidence of the salesperson, which is what we're talking about today, and the last being the customer's feeling of choice and options when they make a buying decision. So re briefly recapping, service, how good a job you do, price, how you price relative to the market for what you're offering, quality is the actual quality or perceived quality of what you're selling, Competence, we'll go into that. And then choice is the feeling a customer may have so they don't come to you and say they have one option and only one option, and it makes them feel empowered. Also, if there's too many options, it can screw up the way they think as well. Overwhelm is not a good thing. Confidence. So confidence, luckily, is a skill. Skills can be learned, they can be crafted and enhanced within yourself. So if you're not the most confident person, don't sweat it. But let me tell you what, having confidence as a salesperson will transform your life. You'll begin to become more decisive. You'll become more of a leader in your household, in your community, however you, what you do. You will begin to think more clearly. You'll have a little more focus. It's very, very, very powerful confidence, which is why when I do coaching on outside of sales training, it's one of the most popular things I have to help people with it really can change people. So I'm glad that you're listening to this now. So confidence is a muscle, first of all. And let me tell you some ways you can build that muscle. So some of the ways is by having little goals that get accomplished and knowing that you are actually doing them and that you're actually hitting those, whatever your set tasks are, and checking that box and doing it and getting that personal, yes, I did it, is great. If you can get more than one person to join with you and support you and encourage and cross encourage each other, it could be a coach, it could be me. If you need someone, reach out to me. I can certainly help you with this. It can be a mastermind. It can be a group of other team members. If you have a sales force, all these kinds of things can be super helpful because the more the tribe supports and believes in each other, it will build momentum. And it's important that you support people who are challenged and not feeling up because you lift them up. And as you grow and do more stuff, it happens. So the great thing is confidence and success leaves clues. A lot of it is with persistence and doing the right thing as of just opposed to doing a lot of things. So do the right things and you'll build much more confidence because you'll actually get the success that you need. If you are spending your time, which many of you watching this are, that you spend time doing things that are not a high return on the time invested and are not what's called high revenue generating activities, such as calls, meetings, doing big picture things, maybe finding ways to build a referral system for your business, whatever it is, things that have a high return on the time invested and can really make things change for the better. Those are what you should be doing. And when you do those and when you see the success in those, you'll begin to really feel different and act different. So that's a major part of success. Another major part of success and confidence is your mental game and your physicality. So we'll I'll briefly... Uh, so we have the group people supporting you. It's also important that your confidence is built by a 
habit of energy, a habit of eating well, a habit of some sort of <clears throat> physical, physical activity and feeling movement, which is why if you watch any of our videos before, you've seen when we ask you to do calls, we encourage you to stand up because you have more energy. I, for example, when I used to do these videos, used to do them seated. And seated's nice, but I have much more expression standing and talking to you now than I would seated. I can move my hand. Yeah, I love it. So I, I have much more fun myself doing it this way. And when I make calls, it's the same exact thing. So take that perspective when it comes to business. So create energy. Stop filling your belly with crap. Stop eating sugar. Get lots of sleep. Don't eat lots of flour. It's really not the most complex thing, but it is a habit. And a lot of those habits are actually cutting addictions. Sugar is very addicting. Trust me, I have been there. And boy, was it a struggle. So find things and do them a little bit at a time. So the successes can happen and you can become more energized. Last but not least, you need to fuel your brain with things that will reinforce confidence and habits and people who talk and think differently and expanded. Books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Books like Secrets of the Millionaire Minds. Books like Grant Cardone's 10X or Be Obsessed or Be Average. I mean, a lot of his stuff is great. Follow people like that. If you can handle a little bit of vulgarity and language, Gary Vaynerchuk is quite amazing. There's a lot of these influencers. It could be uh, Les Brown. It could be Prince EA. It doesn't really matter. There's a million of these people that you can look to to get inspiration and feel fired up. And they can talk to you and, and become part of your tribe. So that's what I would encourage. So real quick, we are having a couple classes come up. And the first one is a cold calling masterclass. It is on the 2nd of September, which is a Sunday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. The cost is 600 TT. It is a role playing class. In other words, we'll have you teach, learn, have you create a script from a template focused on your company, cleaned up for your company. We'll make it very, very powerful how it's written. And then we'll add tonality to that so we have more oomph. And then we'll role play it. So that's what that class is. That is part of six classes. So I'll tell you real briefly about the other classes. The other classes are, class one is all about the elevator pitch, creating the energy I just spent a fair amount of this video talking about. Class two is a networking situation, a networking simulation, where we teach you what to say to total strangers so that you can truly build a relationship. Because this is a relationship business. You are in the relationship business if you're in sales. And if you own a business, want to own a business, want to grow a business, you have to be in the sales position at some way, shape, or form. If you're not, you're doing your business and your customers a disservice because no one knows it better than you. After that, there is the cold calling. Just covered it. After that, there's the meeting that you actually just set with the cold calling class. You role play and simulate that. We, we talk about how physical body language affects, how to be prepared, how to present yourself most effectively, what styles of questions to ask, and things along those lines. Class after that is the actual close and objections. So you can actually deal with the objections and complaints that people will give you. It's not always an actual objection. Very often it's a buying signal and very often it's simply a complaint about it. So do not ever assume it's ever an objection. Assume it's a complaint until you know for sure. Last but not least, we role play the entire previous five modules. There's no test. It's simply role playing simulation. It's awesome. And let me tell you that one. So that starts on the 13th of September. It's a Thursday night. It's six Thursday nights in a row, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The cost is 3000 TT. Again, assuming you took the cold calling class, you put 400 of that towards it. And it's awesome. And we offer a payment plan so it can be more affordable for those if you need a payment plan. If you have any questions, shoot me a message here. You can call Roger. You can call me. We're very easy to find. But I look forward to seeing you there. Do what you can to create more confidence for yourself. It will change your business and it will change the numbers. Take care.